The recommended control strains and criteria for internal quality control are available in the QC tables on the UCAST website. Control strains can be purchased from culture collections or commercial sources and should be stored by a method that minimizes the risk of mutations, for example, at minus 70 centigrade on beads in glycerol broth. Store at least two vials of each control strain, one for in use and at least one for archiving. Once every week, prepare a subculture from the in-use vial onto appropriate non-selective media. Incubate and check for purity. When subculturing from the purity plate, pick several colonies to avoid selecting a mutant and streak to obtain isolated colonies. For non-fastidious QC strains, Prepare a new subculture every day of the week from the purity plate for a maximum of six days. Then discard the plates and prepare a new purity plate from the frozen in-use vial. For fastidious QC strains that will not survive on plates for a week, you may subculture serially from day to day. After six days, prepare a new purity plate from the frozen in use vial. Routine quality control strains are used to monitor the performance of the disc diffusion test. Test antimicrobial agents which are part of routine panels. Use an overnight culture of the QC strain and follow the same testing procedure as for clinical isolates. Routine quality control tests should be set up and checked daily or at least four times a week. Control tests should be read and evaluated before reporting susceptibility test results for clinical isolates. To check the inhibitor component of beta-lactam beta-lactamase inhibitor combination discs, use specific beta-lactamase producing strains listed in UCAS QC tables. This should be part of the routine quality control. The active component is checked with a susceptible QC strain. Extended quality control is complementary to routine quality control. Resistant QC strains are used to confirm that the method will detect specific resistance mechanisms such as ESBL, MRSA and VRE. Check that zone diameters for quality control strains are within the acceptable ranges available in the QC tables. The range is set to allow day-to-day -day variation and limited variation between the manufacturers of media and discs. Individual zone diameters should be randomly distributed within the range and mean values of repeat testing should be close to the target value. Each day that tests are set up, Examine the results of the last 20 consecutive quality control tests.
examine the results for trends and zones falling consistently above or below the target. Analyzing QC results over time will often pick up trends before the controls go out of range. If two non-consecutive tests are out of range on the same side of the target, susceptibility test results for clinical isolates may still be reported, but investigation is required. If two consecutive tests are out of range or if multiple disks are out of range on one day, investigate before reporting susceptibility test results for clinical isolates. The tests may have to be repeated. Errors in disk diffusion may be related to disks, media, test conditions or QC strains. A common source of error is the antimicrobial disk. Make sure that correct agent and disk potency is used and that disks have not expired. Incorrect storage and handling of disks can cause loss of potency. If a problem is detected, use a new cartridge or an alternative lot of disks. Another potential source of error is the media used. The pH of the media and the content of cations and thymidine may affect sewn sizes. Use an alternative lot of media or media from another manufacturer. For in-house preparation of media, make sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions. Too thin, too thick or uneven agar depth may cause erroneous sewn diameters. Both for in-house prepared and commercial plates, measure the agar depth to make sure that it is 4 plus minus 0.5 millimetres. For in-house prepared plates, adjust the volume if the agar depth is within the acceptable range but repeatedly above or below 4 mm. Excess humidity in agar plates may cause fuzzy sewn edges resulting in sewn diameters below the QC range. If necessary, Dry plates either at 20 to 25 centigrades overnight or at 35 centigrades with a lid removed for 15 minutes. Problems can also be related to test conditions such as inoculation, incubation time and atmosphere and reading of zones. Train laboratory staff and make sure that all aspects of the UCAS distribution method are adhered to, see the disk diffusion manual on the UCAST website. Incorrect storage and handling of QC strains may cause contamination, mutation or loss of plasmid-mediated resistance. If you are uncertain about the performance of the QC strain, prepare a fresh subculture from the freezer.